So we open with the Sierra pity party. She ain't got nobody in her life. All she has is her friend Zay, who she's in love with. Is that the guy you married? Because it turns out you are officially married. Yep, she officially married Xavier. Well, good. Glad you didn't marry that other fool. Or rather, I'm glad you dropped Shooter Gates. Should have kept them gates closed. So she's been keeping this relationship off camera because she really care about him. That's how you got to do it. Oh, she's letting us know about the engagement. Well, I'm glad you found somebody. I haven't, but I'm glad you have. And honestly, the way relationships go so sour so quickly, you be thinking everything good in the hood and then it just curdles. Overnight, it just curdles. You wake up, you don't know who you're sleeping next to. I think I might just stick with Bronx. Oh, but now she want to try to have her sister celebrate her engagement and her wedding and they ain't never gotten along. I say enjoy your life and enjoy your relationship and talk to your sisters another time. Her sister, Clydera, has been spreading rumors about her on social media. Her name is Clydera? Claudiria. Claudiria? We couldn't do Claudine. I don't even really know if we need a Claudine. What about Celeste? Carolyn? Claudiria? Claudiria. Claudiria. Not Claudia, Claudiria. Sounds like diphtheria. Oh God, and your mama turned on you too? Child, drop that family. So he encourages her to get on the good foot with her sisters so they can get to their joyous wedding. Over with Kirk and his three earrings. He polishing some Mercedes. We got Spice speaking Patois. Oh, she asking Young Jock to be on the album? Why? He's not talented anymore. Over with Jessica and Bam. They meeting up with Saucy Santana at the bowling alley, but they're going to let Zell tell them about the pregnancy. Somehow the subject of Sierra being engaged gets brought up again, but don't nobody really care. Santana said it's always a wedding ring, it's always a cookbook. Jessica said she collects rings. I mean, hey, at least she gets a man to try to take her across the street. What y'all single asses got to say? Bam, you were just married to a loser named Scrappy who couldn't even buy you a house. He just left you with three babies and nothing to show for it. Jessica, I ain't even gonna talk about you. And Saucy Girl... You was out here getting pegged by Zig. You were out here getting teabagged by a coffee pot. I mean, girl, you was with Zell and you said that was your man. You can act like you've moved up and moved on. And I'm sorry, I'm seeing that little chef. Ain't nothing I want to cook up. Oh my God, Jessica White tells the news. You know Zell having a baby. I'm glad she spilled it because otherwise this conversation would have bored the hell out of me. Like Saucy's music seems to be boring the listening public. Oh, God, Santana going to say, well, I'm going to get my man, but you do not want Zell. Child, some woman let her knock her up, then. Damn, times is tough. You having a baby by Zell for a love and hip-hop check? He ain't even got insurance. That's not a baby. That's a Medicaid. Oh, we're having a baby mama reveal. Oh, God. why does everything have to be revealed? Well, I mean, I guess, you know, the fact that he got a woman pregnant, that's a reveal. That's a double wig reveal. And honestly, Santana, you seem bothered. You seem pressed. Are you mad Zell ain't gonna play in your breasts? I would not care about somebody about to have a baby when we broken up. That's your cross to bear. Over with Zell and his baby mama. However, she's not sure if he's gonna keep it. She's He's trying to convince her, and she's like, look, I just don't know. I feel like she wants the baby, and this is all for play play. I think if you were truly iffy about whether or not you were going to keep the child, you wouldn't have come on TV with it. Erica B. invites the worm woman out for some wine tasting because apparently they became friends at Diamond's Bachelorette. Oh, she didn't like how Yandy and Carly were ganging up on her. Wait till she sleep with and get pregnant by yo man. Then we'll see if you're her biggest fan. However, Jasmine still says Rashida should be focused on why her husband is messaging her. Girl, I mean, I'm sorry he strayed once, he'll stray again. My question is, why do you keep wanting to deal with him? 
Why'd you get pregnant by him? You really want to keep a little piece of Kirk with you always, all days? Ugh. Oh, child, Kirk said he saw a future with her. I didn't see you having a future then, and I don't see you having a future now. Oh, Jesus, we scrolling all the way back to the conversations y'all had when you first got pregnant. And why are you the green? Uh, Jasmine, just because Kirk wants to keep cheating with you and is telling that his wife lies, you're still a home-wrecking hussy, a home-wrecking harlot, a home-wrecking harpy. You're still a feces. Oh, Kirk encouraged you to keep canon because he saw a future with you. I could see him being that stupid. She said, I don't know Rashida a damn thing. An apology? So we gonna confront Kirk at the car show. That's their little plan. So Sierra is still upset that her mom and her sister attacked her on social media. So she have her mama over to her beauty supply. However, the mama said that it's not all Claudia's fault. Sierra starting shit online too. Posting her sister's new. You not only had your sister's nude, but you posted it. That's as bad as marrying your step-grandfather in my book. Actually, that's worse. Sneaking your sister's snatch. So she realizes her mom siding with Claudia was such a trigger because her mama wasn't there for her when she was growing up. But then we head to the studio with middle-aged Jock and Spice. What the hell is Jock saying? I'm a man just like you, except you're a woman? Oh, God, Spice, I don't care what's going on with Jock, and neither does the audience. He's worried he gonna lose his wife because she want a baby and he has too many already. Zell meets up with Saucy Santana, and Saucy's like, now he said he want to be with me, not pussy. But uh, I guess we gonna hear what he got to say. Santana said, I can't relate to Zell being bisexual. This feels desperate. Oh, I've been through your phone. It's no coochie. It's no titties. It's dick ass and me. Oh, God. Now Zell don't appreciate what Santana's saying about his sexuality. This is your man. He said, I asked your friends if you bisexual, and they laugh. I I remember one of my friends here, um, I was hanging out with uh, one of the mutuals. And uh, one of the mutuals said, I thought you were with so-and-so. We've never seen him with a woman. And then he just brought you around the group, so we just figured. I was like, no, I'm, I'm not with them, but... <laughs> I was like, yeah, I, I guess I ain't really seen him with no woman. And he said, I've been through your phone, and I haven't seen no coochie, no titty. Girl, that don't sound bisexual to me. I don't think it's about being jealous. I don't think he's jealous at all. I think he doesn't believe in your bisexuality. It doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It's just a hard pill for us to swallow. Swallow. So now Zell going to storm off. I, I mean, I, I understand when gay men come out, we want everyone to go, oh, my God, you're gay. Really? I had no idea. We all want the surprise. We all want, but nobody was buying it. Nobody was buying it. And Zell, you don't read bisexual. But then when Santana said, I've been through your phone, I know what porn you watch and what gets you off, and I ain't never seen you squirting and flirting to nobody that squirts and flirts. That's telling to me. I mean, I ain't saying you could knock her ass up. I ain't saying it. But it just seems more about something to prove. Like you going and, and having sex with a woman to prove you're bisexual. But now we got the car show, Kirk and Rashida. Oh, God. Scrappy and Erica are getting back together. Scrappy ain't got shit, Erica. Why are you running back to him? Oh, because that loser that got you pregnant ran off. Oh, here come Mama D. Oh, Rashida Mama invited Mama D to find out what happened with the worm woman. So now Mama D telling Carly, my ex-daughter-in-law tried to DM your man. I tried to warn you. And now here comes the worm woman with receipts. 
Oh, God. So the worm woman's like, I don't owe her anything. I'm not going to do anything. I was invited. However, Carly gets to flapping her pigeon ass wings and says, well, give me your phone. I'll take her the receipt. Oh, and we get the evidence. Such and such amount. If we hunch. What do you do? Just put your pussy on the Adam's apple. I don't know how Kirk would reproduce. Rashida don't want to look at it because the worm woman didn't bring it personally. Girl, your man is cheating. Worry about him. So because there are some things blocked out, people are going to give Kirk and his Adam's apple and three earrings the benefit of the doubt? Fuck his cheating ass. Oh, and Krishita looks at his phone to compare notes, and it looks like he cheats. Well, that was the shit I'm going to see you soon for House Heifers of Dubai.